Hello, this is Hawk Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP 1955. Also known as Spleed Eaters from Venus. <laughs> Which was just a name that I'm kind of glad I ran across while I'm looking at while looking for this after I pulled up a number generator. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And yes, that is how I choose SCPs. Let's get right into this. Oh heck, I forgot to close that. There we go. Item number, SCP-1955. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. At the time of this writing, 12 copies of SCP-1955, consisting of 3 original, 35mm film reels, 5 home VHS tapes, and 4 pirated DVDs, have been secured by Foundation for or CIS. Agents shall monitor internet fish sharing sites in the event that another copy is linked onto the internet. <sighs> Mobile Task Force 36 Epsilon Beta, I feel like I've heard of Epsilon Beta, MPAA and Martyrs will track the IP addresses of any uploaders of SCP-1955 and administer amnestics as seems appropriate. As SCP-1955 is our copyright, Foundation enforces embedded to public domain for reservation groups to ensure that SCP-1955 is not discovered and archived for public viewing. Description SCP-1955 is a spleed eater. A spleed eater is from Venus in 1955. I'm guessing that's what a year it was released because you know name year that would be kind of ironic. Science fiction film released by Blank Pictures, a defunct Hollywood production company. The plot centers around the eponymous organ consuming aliens and the efforts of American sub uh, of uh, urbanite Buck Johnson to stop them. SV-1955 is similar to many low-budget science fiction films from the 1950s, with viewers generally criticizing the action, special effects, and sets as being, being of low quality. Makes sense for the 50s. SV-1955's knowledge properties manifest whenever any subject looks view at least 30 minutes its of footage of SV-1955 continuously. Research has determined that brief lapses of attention, such as looking at a wristwatch or a check reaching for a beverage, do not interrupt the continuous flow necessary to activate SV-1955's anomalous effect. So watch it like me! Only watch half an- Only watch like 20 minutes, get fucking distracted, and leave the room, and then come back, edit, and resume the uh, show. That is actually what I do with every movie ever. After the effect is triggered, Viewers suffer from a permanent perception disorder. Any fictional narrative viewed, fictional narrative in this context is determined to be any sort of or you have at least segments in length in which participants are clearly acting out parts. It's perceived to be a low-budget science fiction, science fiction film from the late in 1940s to early 1960s. Do they have the radio voice? Ritual actors and plot at elements remain, but are altered in such a way that the following are consistent. Act performances are generally low or in quality, with end delivery described as melodramatic and hokey. Special effects utilized for the film are altered so that they are on a similar production scale of films from the 1950s. CGI is replaced with actors in costumes, high scale 3D effects replaced with Titan color light tricks and so forth. Plot elements of the film are out so they fit a science fiction narrative. Examples of the comedy will be altered to include aliens, cryptids, and other similar area elements. Blank for sand films set outside the United States are so that their locations change to the United States, usually in a suburban set setting. That's lame. Films of lang languages other than English are translated into English. Animated films and nonfiction narratives, such as news reports and documentaries, are not affected that Ooh, that means that if you were like to watch Spirited Away or Princess Bononoke, 
you would and be a, 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 a force of water far worse version of it. Thus far, researchers have now discovered a way to reverse the effects of SCP-1955. On August 30th, 1999, the Foundation and located it redacted. One of the actors in SCP-1955 and a close friend of the e director redacted, who has passed away in 1980. Agent redacted conducted an interview transcribed below. Could you describe how you first became involved with the production of Splinters from Venus? The same way everyone got involved in movies back then. My uncle gave him 40 grand to make the movie, so I got cast in a lead role. I had an act since high school, but I was so excited to be in a movie that I didn't care. How did Redacted behave during the, perform uh, the production? Um, oddly. Would be one way to put it. He barely said two words to anyone the whole time we were filming the movie, except to give us the most bare bones directions possible. He kept mumbling to himself about how this was his masterpiece, always drifting off into space. It was very disconcerting, as soon as we finished our production, everyone left the studio and stayed as far away from him as possible. The film did not do well financially. <laughs> it was a complete flop! I'd be surprised if more than a hundred people saw it! The head of the production company, I think his name was Redacted, threatened to cut Redacted's head off if you ever saw him again! I never acted again after that. As far as I know, he never er, directed another film. How did he react to the film's financial failure? Something inside him snapped, I think. I only saw him once after that, and it was a few weeks after the premiere. I went over to his house to give him some consolation wine I'd brought, it, I'd brought him. When he asked the door, he looked like a train hit him. Eyes bloodshot red, clothes hadn't been washed in days, the works. What did he say to you? Not much, thank you for the wine, said he was going to invite me to see the director's cut when, as he finished it. Said I was going to change the world of seven and well. You never saw his new version? Nope. Anyone with eyes like he had it wasn't doing anything I want to be a part of. I can see why. Anyway, that was SCP-1955. Also known as... Uh, Spleen Eaters from Venus. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!